Okay, the resin command has changed and I'm gonna explain how you use it now. So the old way was um then command and then resin and the starting point you would have, so let's say 15. This has changed now. Um the way we gonna do it, by the way, you can use R instead of resin. Um is set the starting point, which will take 15 again, and let's say 100 um 35 for whatever reason, right? And that's what you set, and you schedule the mentioned reminder. So if you do slash then command R again, it will show you based on your starting point, which was uh, 15, um, these key values as to when they will be reached. So 20 resin in 40 minutes, 120 in 14 hours approximately. Great, fantastic. However, um, the actual resin reminder you set up will be visible in the remind list command, which contains all the reminders you have. We have the basic reminder command, uh, which would be um, Dane Remind, but we are not talking about that. You can use it to set up uh, specific reminders, but back to the resin one. Um, you can see it right here, uh, reminder one. In 16 hours, we would reach the 135 um, resin amount. Great. How do you remove it? Pretty simple. It says it right here, um, use Dane Reminders Remove to remove the reminder. So we have this overview list here. As you can see, the numbers are pretty weird. People thought it was random. It's actually not random. It's um, based on the um, ranking it is in our um, uh, reminders database. So if your reminders go goes off pretty soon, it will be highly ranked. If it goes off pretty late, as you can see here, the transformer reminder, which is in six days, it will be ranked very low as the priority. It's basically a priority list, essentially. So what you want to do, if you want to remove the resin reminder, which we'll do right now, reminders, remove, and uh, we choose the number one. Great. And if we trigger reminder list, remind list, again, you see it's gone and you won't be notified in your DMs. 